we go, guys. Range tips, tip number five. Today we are going to talk about the training book, our workbook. Now, this is a pretty cool workbook. It's a pretty cool uh, training book, but you just need a block notice and a pen. So, which is the concept? Now, let me explain you what I have in front of me, and which is the concept related with uh, with the training book. So, the training book is where I'm going to write everything in terms of uh, my training performances during my drill. So, every time I arrive on the range, I never arrive on the range without ever already an idea about which will be uh, the, the training drills that I'm going to run, which will be the amount of rounds that I'm going to shoot, and everything is already planned. So what I need to do when I arrive at the range is to set the, my bay in the base of the drill or the warm-up first, and then I start drill by drill. Every time I run a drill, I come back here and I write the rest of my drill in terms of accuracy, in terms of uh, time. Now, to measure the time, we can use different kind of timers, uh, or buzzers, and as you can see here, for example, here I have my, uh, my drills. Uh, I decide before which are the drills that I'm going to run, and I'm going to uh, to add the race suits uh, day by day, uh, or training section by training section. I'm going to write the uh, name of the drill, uh, performance in terms of accuracy, in terms of percentage, and time of execution of the drill, if it's required the time. Anyway, I need to translate the, the point of uh, have a training book is because we need to translate our performances in data. We need to have data of our performance because it's by the data that we have that we can analyze is where we can understand if we are improving, increasing our skills, or even after months, if we run the same drill, we can uh, have, we can monitorize by numbers, by data, uh, we can monitorize uh, if we are increasing or decreasing the performance in a specific drill in a kind of application like for example accuracy or speed or uh, specific drills related with speed or accuracy or grip or the foundations the fundamentals sort of shooting or if we need to work on the cognitive for example if we have many application in terms of the cognitive drills many protocols which is the protocols where we are weaker and which are the protocols where we are stronger uh, so it's very important for us to monitorize always and to translate in terms of data uh, all uh, the performances, the drill, the training uh, that we apply when we are in the shooting range. Uh, by this, we need the target and the base of which kind of drill we are going to run. We need to measure the accuracy and we need to measure the time. Now, if you are a rookie shooter and you are at the beginning, you need you should forget this at the moment uh, until you master your fundamentals perfectly until you master every single step in terms of fundamentals in terms of grip in terms of stance in terms of mechanical movement in terms of biomechanical sequences in terms of uh, your draw your firearm presentation everything must be perfect when everything is perfect and this means that you need to work 80% on dry condition. Remember, especially when you are, you are at the beginning, uh, the dry training is 80% of the job. You just go to, the, to touch the range and, and confirm what we have done in, you know, during the dry, dry training. So it's not about how, how much hammers you're going to spend on the range, it's about how clean are your movement and how you, uh, if you build it properly, your sequences, your uh, your body sequences, your biomechanical sequences in terms of mechanical side, and this you made by uh, tons and tons of reps that you can do by dry training. And now for United States, I think it's the proper moment because the ammo crisis uh, is the proper moment uh, to train dry. So when you arrive there, so I did for the rookie shooter, for the beginners, forget the speed. Speed is uh, absolutely under accuracy. So the first point that you need to cover always is accuracy. Remember, this is even for the expert shooters. Doesn't count who shoot for first, uh, but the only thing that counts is, is going to eat for first with a proper placement of round. 
Uh, so he's going to place the first effective round. So if you are very fast and shoot on draw the gun out and shoot, but you miss the target, it's going to be the fastest miss, but doesn't change your condition. So again, uh, simple piece of paper, a uh, simple block note where you can uh, write everything in terms of performances, in terms of time, point of references, time, uh, accuracy, uh, some characteristics, some notes that you can take, which are the problems you you face with that kind of drill or with that kind of protocol if you are increasing or not. And every month or every two months, every three months, check back your training book and uh, uh, start to uh, develop a statistics of your training, of your performances, protocol by protocol, drill by drill, or a general statistics if that can show you if you are increasing or not your performance and your training.